Hey people, I'm Jenny Spring from the Center for Barefoot Massage and I'm here in the surfboard room at Healing Soul because that is gonna tie into this week's Barefoot Massage Open Challenge. So every week for last week, this week, and three more weeks following, we're doing this Ashiatsu Challenge where we're gonna make you do something tricky every week just to help you get a little bit more insight into why you do what you are already doing. So you don't have to learn any new strokes, I just want you to think harder about what you're using now. So last week we asked you to start at the foot of the table and work north from there and I'm sure those of you who participated learned a lot and came up with a little bit more theory to that aim instead of just going for, uh, for the seated shoulder routine first, you might as well just start at the feet and start where it all starts from, at the ground. So, this week's challenge is to massage with your non-dominant foot for 20 straight minutes. Yep, it can be tricky, but you all know that you have one foot who you can massage mindlessly with and let it do a thing, and then there's that other foot, you know, that you need to like think about it a little bit. So the hashtag this week is Goofy Foot, and the story behind Goofy Foot is that surfers, skateboarders, snowboarders, you probably heard this a lot during the Olympics. Um, if, you, if you lead with your right foot, right foot's forward, that's a goofy foot. If you lead with your left, then that's regular foot. And it's just a term that came around. It's been in the kind of surfing industry for a long time. That's the surfboard room. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, there's that little history. So whatever, get to work. Put your extra foot down, the one that you need to think a little bit harder about and try to just see if you can, maybe you can pull off a full body aspect of it, like get, figure out how to get from the foot to their shoulder, or figure out how to just address their entire back with just that funky foot of yours. Um, just do your thing. Um, there's no real rule other than work safely, work smartly, try to tie moves together. So if your goofy foot happens to be your left foot, then figure out from where you're standing how many strokes you can do with that left foot. You know, what's, what's leg strokes are left footed? What back strokes are left footed? And how can you tie all those together and never miss a beat, never remove contact or never lose your intention? That's all we're going for. So try that out. This challenge ends on Thursday and on Thursday I'm gonna announce the next one. So get ready. Thanks, have fun, bye.